Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to my new video series that's going to cover quick tips and tricks on how you can strengthen the security posture of your Microsoft 365 environment. Today, we're going to look at a common misconfiguration that I tend to see a lot throughout the security assessments that I do. And that is blocking of legacy authentication. Now, Microsoft did a pretty good job of disabling legacy authentication protocols a little while back. But depending on your IAM maturity, you might still have some of those legacy protocols enabled, specifically SMTP. SMTP is still widely used. There's a lot of use cases for it. What we're going to look at today is how you can review your entry signing logs to see if something like SMTP is still in use within your organization. We'll look at how you can implement conditional access policies to block legacy authentication. We'll talk a little bit about how you can restrict the surface area of maybe any service accounts that still need to authenticate using SMTP. And then finally, we'll wrap up with how you can switch legacy authentication protocols like SMTP off altogether. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in our Microsoft Entra portal. And the first thing we want to do is we want to determine if legacy authentication is still happening within in our environment. And to do that, we're going to head over to monitoring and health, sign in logs. Uh, in my case, I'm going to change this down to the last seven days. And I'm going to pick a filter for client app. Once we expand client app, we can see we've got all of these different legacy authentication clients. So depending on what's still allowed within your environment, you might have some of these uh, that are still sort of actively being used. So you probably want to make sure that you check all of them uh, or go through them one at a time to determine uh, which protocols are still being used. Uh, I know in my case, for the purposes of this, that it's going to be SMTP. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And here we then should see any authentications that are happening using SMTP. Okay, so we can see here that my user account has been attempting to access Exchange Online using authenticated SMTP. So we know that that's a legacy authentication client. And actually, let's just delve into the, the logs a little bit because it actually says here that authentication requirement is multi-factor authentication. And some additional details here User needs to perform multi-factor authentication. And if we check our conditional access tab, we can see that it's actually failed my uh, MFA conditional access policy uh, requirement. Now, this is an interesting one because actually what this is telling us here is that that particular authentication was, was interrupted. So you would initially look at that and think, okay, well, MFA's restricted that particular sign-in, but I can assure you that it hasn't. So I've used a tool for testing uh, SMTP and I can confirm that it authenticated and it did send those SMTP test emails uh, regardless of the fact that MFA is in place for that particular account. Uh, so that's a really great example of why you would still want to restrict legacy authentication within your environment using maybe something like conditional access policies. So that's how you would check for any existing legacy authentication client usage within your environment. Next, we'll move on to how you would restrict it using conditional access. So if we go to our protection tab and then conditional access underneath policies, and for the purposes of this, we're going to use a template because it's nice and easy and it does exactly what we want it to do. Underneath the secure foundation, we've got block legacy authentication. So if we select that, review and create, we can see here that it's going to apply to all users because, because we're pulling it through from a template, it's going to exclude my current user. That's fine for the purposes of this. It's going to apply to all cloud apps and it's going to apply to all legacy authentication clients, which is ideal. And then it's going to block access. So if I go ahead and create that, and then we just go ahead and find it and we'll review it very quickly. We can see here any user accessing any cloud app from any legacy authentication client block access. So this is ideal. This is the, the great way to uh, 
uh, block legacy authentication within within your environment uh, using conditional access. Now, for some organizations, you might need to continue using something like SMTP within your environment, say for a service account. Um, but what you might want to do is you might want to restrict the attack surface of that particular user account, for example, so that it can only authenticate using these legacy authentication protocols from a certain location or IP address. And the way that we would do that is, uh, again, we would use conditional access policies. So if we come in here and we do a, a new policy, restrict SMTP service account to known IP address. And for the purposes of this, uh, we're just going to go with my account. We're going to say all cloud apps, network, any location, excluding my third party SMTP tool, which is just an, an IP slash 32 IP address. And then we're going to come here and we're going to choose block. So if we run through this quickly, so we're saying here, if Nathan is accessing any cloud app from any network location, excluding this third party SMTP tool, so excluding this IP address location, block access. So what we're actually doing there is we're saying this user account is unable uh, to do anything, is unable to authenticate uh, to any cloud app unless it's coming from this particular IP address. So that's a really great way of restricting the scope for those service accounts to known IP addresses. Now, another thing you might want to do is disable legacy authentication protocols altogether. And you can do that in two ways. So if you head over to uh, the Exchange Admin Center, um, so if this is for particularly for SMTP, uh, if we head over to Settings, Mail Flow, and then there's a section in here uh, for Security. And from within here, we can turn off SMT SMTP authentication protocol for the entire organization. So again, if, if, you, if you don't have those service accounts in use, you don't need to use SMTP authentication, I would suggest that you switch, uh, toggle that checkbox. And then probably worth switching this one off as well. So that's a great way of switching off SMTP authentication at the global level. Uh, what you can also do uh, from the M365 admin center, if you come to settings, org settings, modern authentication, any legacy authentication protocols that are still available within your environment will be listed here. So in my case, it's just authenticated SMTP. You might have other ones in here. So it's worth uh, reviewing, reviewing your signing logs, determining if you need any of these older protocols, uh, and then effectively switching them off uh, altogether if they're not needed. I would recommend if they're not if they're not in use, switching it off altogether, as well as having a conditional access policy in place, just a sort of a belt and braces approach. And it's also worth noting that if you switch off the authentication protocols here, that will actually stop those authentication requests uh, making it into the Entra ID sign-in log. So if you want to get rid of all that noise uh, against sort of failed sign-ins for things like password sprays, this is a great way to do that. So that's how you would restrict legacy authentication within your environment. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.